riggers welcome to the rig play zone this is going to be the place where i'm going to be showing you some tips for musical crafts and activities for you to be doing with your children over the next or these coming weeks of isolation and um please do subscribe we are going to be posting something every other day we also have our instagram where we're going to be posting very short one minute videos um every day so have a look there as well um yeah so today we are going to be focusing on plastic bottle shakers um in the true spirit of the rig we love recycling and of course plastic is a real problem at the moment so this is a great way to use those plastic or repurpose those plastic bottles you have um around the home so Obviously, you know what a plastic bottle looks like, but just to show you that it can be any size, any shape, I'm actually going to use this clear one here. So what I do is I get um, the kids to colour in. It's um, So it's a bit of colouring in as well as making the instrument itself. You can colour it in whatever you like. I know it looks like a kid has done this, but this was actually me. And I chose to do stars and moons. And then you're just going to wrap it around your bottle. Like this. And the next bit is to fill it with whatever um, is going to make the noise inside. Often I use um, dry rice or dry lentils. Of course, in this time of saving food, and let's face it, we all should be saving food anyway, I think it's probably better to use gravel. So I actually randomly had a bag of gravel because I have cacti. Um, if you don't, which is more understandable, uh, go outside and just find some small stones um, or indeed just find anything that's going to make a noise. You could crush up a, a dry stick or if you have a box of old buttons in the house, that would be perfect as well. Anything that's going to make a rattle inside. So I'm going to put some of these in here. Oops. Almost missed it there, which would have been a bit of a disaster. Um, just to secure that a bit better with some more tape. Okay, so after we filled it, put the lid back on, and that's the basic thing. We have our amazing rattly um, shaker. I also happen to find, and some of you parents and guardians equally might find these in the back of your cupboard, some old plastic shot glasses. Um, so if I were to put a bit of gravel in here, just a bit, and um, this keeps coming apart. Not good, is it? Okay. And so the tape back together. As you can see, I'm not editing this video, so comes with all my mistakes. Yes, so this makes a really lovely high sound and this makes a low sound because it's larger. So this is a great way to sort of make different sounds and start exploring um, highs and lows. So we've got high sound with a small bottle or a small uh, shot glasses, got a low sound. Don't stop there, continue to um, decorate it. Um, we have some um, pipe cleaners that you could use, pom-poms are a great one, even putting tassels on the end so you've got some movement when you shake it, great idea. I also love to put glitter inside because then when you shake it, if, you've got, if you're using a clear bottle, then um, you can see the movement of the glitter as well. That's really exciting. And what kid doesn't love glitter? highly recommend using biodegradable glitter but in this time needs must just use what you've got in the house so have a go see what you can create please show me i really want to see your amazing ideas that you've come up with um either just post them on twitter as a photo or instagram them to me i'd love to see them all right have fun and we'll be back tomorrow with more ideas bye